We're going to take a look at two or three ways to add a PowerPoint file to your course. So there are a couple different ways here. Um, I've created two different pages in this module here. And just to show you how to add it to a page. So here's the first way. And I have it set up to do this when it automatically loads onto a page. I'm going to click edit and delete it so that you can see how I created it. So on the page, I'm going to type in some verbiage language that I want to connect the PowerPoint to. And then highlight it. Go to your files over here. Upload a new file. Choose file. And then I'm just going to find a random PowerPoint and upload it as chapter, pretend that it's chapter two or chapter one, whatever I chose. Yeah, chapter two. So I selected it, click upload, and it just linked there and click save. Okay, so there it is. Now I can also change it to automatically open when students go to the page. So I click inside it, click on this link, click on auto open, and then update link, and hit save. And it will automatically open for students when they go to this, when they come to this page. And it may take a little while for it to load. But uh, they can also download it by clicking on this link here. And it will download to their computer like a normal PowerPoint file. Uh, if I wait here long enough, eventually it will load. Um, it should load here in a few seconds. There we go. So that's what it looks like embedded here when you have it automatically open. And students can navigate through it by clicking on these arrows. They can zoom out, zoom in, and of course they can uh, download it here. So that's one way. Let's go back to modules. And here's a page. Click edit and we'll delete this. Okay, again, type in the language. Highlight it. If you look in your menu, you should see a OneDrive icon here. If you don't see it and you don't see the Kaltura link, uh, you, you might see a little blue V here instead. If you click on it, it will be in one of the lists. <clears throat> Excuse me, it will be, will be one of the options in your list. Click on the OneDrive link. And if you haven't connected your OneDrive before, it will ask you to connect it and authenticate your OneDrive. So I'm just going to find a PowerPoint and uh, here we go, let's choose this one, attach file, hit save, and then here's what it looks like when a student goes to access each one. This is a student account. There we go. And then here's what it will look like when I go to access the OneDrive link. The very first time a student does this, it will ask them to log in with their JSU Gym email account. And it will ask them to authenticate. And once they do, this will appear. And then they can go through it like any other PowerPoint. So those are a couple of options there. Um, 
any place that you access the rich content editor which is a page a assignment or announcement or discussion you can add a link to a PowerPoint 